Okay, I think I might have accidentally made a pulse detonation engine. Um, this experiment started out with a tube and an old rocket motor that I was using, and I decided to place a spark plug in it and blow some air and fuel into it. Well, I expected it to be a, nothing more than a glorified blowtorch, but well, it didn't turn out that way. So what I have here is an air feed from a ball valve. Um, a propane tank sits up there. By the way, it doesn't require hardly any fuel at all. Um, then this happens to be a drive shaft from a M Mazda MK9 and followed by a tube that I welded in to make the pulse go farther. Um, placement of the spark plug is actually critical. It has to be slightly above the uh, halfway mark. Um, then what I did is I built a uh, diffuser which is made out of basically a frame washer for a 99 Buick LeSabre. I drilled a couple more holes in it than what this has got. But anyways, um, that's to prevent some of the pulse from going back into the mixing chamber. So when we get to this point here, um, this thing is so freaking loud. Actually, the cops were called on me, and that's from my neighbors a quarter mile away with the garage door shut. So, uh, I'll give you a demonstration. Okay, here we go. Hearing protection is definitely required. Ignition on. Air on. So I decided to build a uh, little bit smaller engine to get the frequency up because the frequency on the big one is kind of low. I mean it's really powerful but I need a little bit faster explosions. Um, had to extend the length of the chamber uh, because uh, didn't get it quite right. But if you notice um, this part here is where the flame front starts to happen. It's about one and a half inches past the spark plug. So I extend the chamber out a little bit farther, and uh, of course the rest is history, and we'll do the demonstration. Ignition on. 